Hey guys, it's Nando the Tattooed Reseller. I'm back. I'm finally able to post videos again. Uh, for personal reasons, I couldn't post this last month. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not going to get into that, but it's nothing negative. It's all positive. Uh, so I can... I'm back. And thank you guys for holding out. Uh, today is going to be an interesting day. We have some orders to ship out, and then I got a four-hour drive to the city of Dallas where my daughter lives. And today is her band concert. She plays the tuba. And I'm gonna go up there and surprise her at her concert. Uh, she doesn't know yet. So I need to hurry this up because like I said, it's a four hour drive and I need to get there. And when I get there, I need to get a hotel room. And if there's time, I'm gonna go thrifting in Dallas. Hopefully the thrift stores are a little better than down here in Houston, but we'll see. So let's get to it. All right, my first order is right here in the eye bin. It is a vintage U.S. Navy ball cap. It's right here. When you first get to boot camp in the Navy, you wear a hat very similar to this, only instead of it saying Navy, it says recruit. After eight weeks of boot camp, uh, you go through a, uh, an event called battle stations. And after you graduate battle stations, you get this Navy ball cap. So uh, this, this ball cap means a lot to a lot of sailors. And uh, I had one, only I don't know what I did with it, but I sold this hat for $24.99 plus shipping. Next, I sold a Nike backpack right here. It's in the L bin. This thing's really cool. I bought this, I picked this up at a garage sale for $5. And as soon as I listed it, I started getting offers. So I knew it was a good backpack, so I just held out. It sold in less than a week for full asking price of $49.99 free shipping. Next, I sold a Sony radio, like an alarm clock type style uh, CD player uh, radio thing. I got this for a dollar or maybe two dollars at a garage sale. This wasn't the best flip. I held it for a long time. It took about a year to sell. Finally sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This next item took a long time to sell. And it's right here in the A bin. It bought a lot of signs a couple years ago thinking they were going to be valuable. And when I looked up the comps, they had okay comps. But I wasn't checking out the sell-through rate. But finally, this thing sold for $29.99 plus shipping. This next order is real neat. My brother actually found these about a couple months ago whenever him and I went thrifting. Uh, he's like, hey, check these out. And at first, I... I didn't want to get them, but then he talked me into them, and I ended up buying them, and they sat forever in my death pile, right over there. They were just hiding, and then last week, I decided to start going through my death pile, and I found them, and I listed them, and this item sold in like four days for full asking price, and it is these X-Core wheelchair wheels. Real cool. Uh, I think I paid like $20 for them, and they sold for 150 bucks, free shipping. I actually had to wake up early this morning to go get this box right here because I didn't have it. And it, it is a uh, 24 by 24 by 18. It's a big old thing. Uh, so we'll get those packaged up and get them on the way. Next, I sold this uh, catches mint. So uh, right here in the V bin, it is this Mizuno catches mint. And I forgot what I paid for this. I don't think I paid much. I like two, three bucks. But this thing sold for $60 plus shipping. One of my favorite things to sell is actually Xbox 360 Guitar Hero guitars. They sell so fast. They'll sell faster than just about any other ones. And I got it right here. It is still the Les Paul. Uh, I forgot where I got this. I should, don't think I got it for much. Maybe a couple bucks. But these things sell super fast, sold in about three days for full asking price of $69.99 plus shipping. I'll show you how I package those. Next, I sold some LeBron shoes. Uh, they're right here in the shoe bin five. They're here in the back. I don't know if you can see them. These things right here. I paid $15 for these at, a, at the flea market. They took a little bit to sell, and I think I accepted a best offer for $49.99 plus shipping. Now it's time for my favorite sell of the day. Guys, a couple weeks ago you saw me 
going garage sale shopping with my buddy Michael Hawker and you saw me pick up this sweater for the lady wanted 50 cents for it and I didn't have 50 cents so I just offered her a dollar I listed this and it sold in 48 hours guys for full asking price of $99.99 plus shipping turning one dollar into a hundred that doesn't get better than that all right I'm gonna show you guys how I ship Guitar Hero guitars the best thing about these is that they come apart if you turn it on the back the little latch right here disconnects the body from the neck becomes a whole lot easier now this little whammy bar I like to secure it by just putting a little bit of masking tape on there just like that it keeps it down won't break during the move then we're gonna bubble wrap the body and the neck separately all right now that we got them bubble wrap we're gonna put them in some boxes now here's where it gets fun now you're gonna need two different size of boxes you're gonna need the 1095 uh, priority mailbox and you're gonna need the 1092 priority mailbox okay we're gonna start with the smaller one. We're just gonna open it up and set it in place like we're supposed to, fold it. It has this adhesive. All right, we're gonna put the guitar body first. All right, fits right in. We're gonna put the neck, we're gonna put the neck right in here. Just like that. Don't forget the strap. The bigger box now, the 1095, goes right over it and that is how I package and ship guitar hero guitars it's time to hit the road I am ready I'm excited I'm, I'm about to make the four hour trip to Dallas to go see my daughter play a tuba I got the latest version of the triple thrift podcast about to play it even though it's a month old I haven't heard it Josh Joey and Drew I'm sorry uh, you're about to get a like and uh, all right, I'm excited. Cars, um, cars filled up. Let's go. So I'm on the road, leaving Dallas, headed home. I was able to see my kid play the tuba for the first time, and oh, it was awesome. Uh, it was a total surprise to her. She didn't know I was coming, so that that alone was worth the drive, you know? You'll do anything for your kids. While I was there, I stopped at one Goodwill and a thrift store, and they were terrible. Oh man, they were so overpriced. It was ridiculous. But, that's not gonna stop me. I, I plan on making a few stops on the way um, in little small towns, so hopefully those are a little bit different, but Fingers crossed, wish me luck. All right, we're at a Goodwill here in their little town, right off the highway on the way home. Hopefully, hopefully we find some good stuff. All right, so I see these uh, Nike, Comfort footbed, they're $5.99. Okay, check them for rips or tears. No, no peeling. They're $5.99. I can get about 25 bucks for these. So, good little find. All right, look at these. Just came across these with a Vionic. They're $6.99. And they're a little bit large for a woman's size. They're size 11. But there's not a, but they go for about $34. So I think that because it's such a large size, there's gonna be some women out there that don't have this shoe size. So I could list them for that. So yeah, and they're in great shape. You just make sure that everything's there. No peeling. Oh yeah, they're in great shape, $6, awesome. Here's an awesome find. Nike Zooms for 10 bucks. In good shape, let's check them out. Nope. There's a 30 to 40 dollar shoe right here. Awesome. I'll get those for 10 bucks. That's a 30, 40 dollar shoe. Now I found these. 
I'm gonna look these up. They're for ten dollars. Um, I think I get about twenty-five for them. But let me uh, look these up. Yeah, so these go for about twenty, twenty-five dollars. Should be able to double my money plus shipping. So yeah, it'll be a quick sale. I'll keep them. Well, look at these. And these are for ten dollars. Not bad. Good shape. Not peeling. Uh, I can get about twenty-five plus shipping on these. Cool. Well, these Nike boots here. Oh, let's check these out. So these are going for about sixty bucks. Let me see. Pre-owned, fifty bucks. These are right here, sixty dollars. Look at that. I'm gonna try and listen for like forty. So yeah, definitely. Wow. Oh God, look at this. Look at this, guys. If you don't know this brand, know it. Cinch in jeans. This is an easy thirty to forty dollar pair of jeans right here. And I'm gonna be paying. I don't even know what I'm gonna be paying. <laughs> I'll see what the, how much the pants are, but it shouldn't be more than $7.99. Guys, Bolo brand. Guys, I just scored big with this. This is a 2014 soccer um, Bradley jersey. This thing goes for $50 used. I can't believe it. Holy moly. I'm definitely picking those up. This might be the find of the day. Guys, this rack is providing some money. Look at this. Levi's 541 brand new. Guys, this is a $40 pair of jeans right here. Awesome. Finally, a Goodwill that prices their items accordingly. I haven't been, I haven't found this much stuff in a Goodwill in a long time. I'm very excited. I got some, I got some good stuff, guys. Right. Can't wait. Hopefully, show. this Goodwill matches the last one and we get some good luck. So here it is. All right. So I found these foot drawers. They're in good shape. All the cleats are there. In good shape. They have like embroidered a baseball and a heart. So I think that adds a little value. Uh, should get about 35, 40 bucks for these and they're only $8.99. So I only picked up that one pair of shoes. Eh, it is what it is. It's profit. I think we might be able to hit one more Goodwill before I go home. My wife's gonna be mad. <laughs> Alright, we're at our third Goodwill. I've never been to any of these and every time I drive I see them but I've never had a chance to stop so hopefully it's a good one. Peter Millar. That's nice. Eight bucks. I don't know if this is worth it. We'll see. I only picked up two shirts and they're kind of pricey. I don't know why I got them. They were like eight bucks a piece. I don't know if I should have done that. It's like, what was I thinking? Why did I buy it? But whatever. Let's go home.